Jedi The Jedi are the main protagonists in the Star Wars universe. They are depicted as an ancient monastic, academic, meritocratic and paramilitary organization whose origin dates back approximately 25,000 years before the events of the first film released in the franchise. The Jedi Order mostly consists of polymaths, teachers, philosophers, scientists, engineers, physicians, diplomats and warriors. The Jedi value knowledge and wisdom, adhere to slave morality, and serve others through acts of charity, citizenship, and volunteerism. This ideology is a recurring theme in the Star Wars universe. The Jedi denounce emotions as the root of mortal suffering, they believe fear, anger and love cause sentient beings to lash out and conflict and impede rational action to do what is right. Their traditional weapon is the lightsaber, a device which generates a blade-like plasma powered by a kyber crystal. The fictional organization has inspired a real-world new religious movement, Yetiism. The word Jedi is said to have been adapted by George Lucas from Japanese, Jedaigeki meaning period drama motion pictures about samurai, or perhaps inspired by the words Jed, King, and Jedic, Emperor, in the Barsoom series by Edgar Rice Burroughs, a series that Lucas considered adapting to film. The film Rogue One suggests that it relates to the planet Jedha, source of the kyber crystals used in lightsabers. The term Padawan, which is used to refer to the fictional Jedi apprentices, appears to originate in Sanskrit and can be understood as learner both in Sanskrit and by contemporary native speakers of Sanskrit-based languages. George Lucas acknowledged Jedi, Sith, and other Force concepts have been inspired by many sources. These include, knighthood chivalry, paladinism, samurai bushido, Shaolin monastery, feudalism, Hinduism, Qigong, Greek philosophy, Greek mythology, Roman history, Roman mythology, parts of the Abrahamic religions, Confucianism, Shinto, Buddhism, and Taoism, not to mention countless cinematic precursors. The works of philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche and mythologist Joseph Campbell, especially his book The Hero with a Thousand Faces, 1949, directly influenced Lucas, and was what drove him to create the modern myth of Star Wars. As depicted in the canon, the Jedi study and utilize the Force, in order to help and protect those in need. The Jedi members, known as Jedi Knights, respect all life by defending and protecting those who cannot do it for themselves, striving for peaceful and non-combative solutions to any altercations they encounter and fighting only in self-defense and for the defense of those they protect. Like their evil counterparts, the Sith, their main weapon is the lightsaber. By training the mind and the body, the Jedi seek to improve themselves by gaining unfettered access to the Force while also seeking to improve those individuals and groups they come in contact with. The Lost Twenty was the name given to a group of Jedi Masters, numbering 20 in total, who left the Jedi Order throughout its history. The first 12 of these Lost Twenty left the Jedi Order before the Third Great Schism. These 12 Masters later became Dark Jedi, who eventually founded the First Sith Empire. In the standard years preceding the Clone Wars, Jedi Master Dooku left the Jedi Order as a result of differences with his fellow Jedi, becoming the 20th Jedi Master in the history of the Order to do so. To commemorate these former Jedi, memorial statue busts were displayed at the Jedi Temple in Coruscant. The prequel films depict the Jedi in their prime, dealing with the rising presence of the dark side of the Force and determined to fight their mortal enemies, the Sith. In Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, 1999, Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn, Liam Neeson, discovers nine-year-old Anakin Skywalker, Jake Lloyd whom he believes to be the chosen one of a Jedi prophecy who is destined to bring balance to the Force, the boy is eventually paired with Qui-Gon's apprentice, the young Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor, who promises to train him. The sequel, Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, establishes that the Jedi Force wear emotional attachments, including romantic love, which proves problematic when Anakin, now a young adult, Hayden Christensen, falls in love with Padme Amidala Natalie Portman whom Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi had served ten years before. In, Palpatine, Ian McDermott, who is later revealed to be Darth Sidious, the Dark Lord of the Sith, manipulates Anakin's love for Padme and distrust of the Jedi in order to turn him to the dark side and become his Sith apprentice, Darth Vader. Once corrupted, Vader helps Palpatine hunt down and destroy nearly all of the Jedi, leaving very few left, such as Jedi Masters Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Anakin's former Padawan, Ahsoka Tano. In accordance with Order 66, 
for crimes of sedition and high treason against the Galactic Republic, the Jedi are nearly exterminated by the clone army and Sith Lord Darth Sidious, only Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda, who were amongst a handful of a hundred survivors, avoided the initial purge. The first person to be issued this order was Clone Commander Cody, who until then was under the command of Jedi General Kenobi. Darth Vader led Operation, Nightfall against the Jedi Temple with the 501st Legion while the rest of the clone army around the galaxy carried out Order 66. Palpatine convinced the people of the Republic that Jedi were corrupted warmongers responsible for prolonging the Clone Wars, the Jedi became universally hated with huge bounties placed on them. Darth Vader continued to hunt and execute nearly every surviving Jedi during the first ten years of the Empire's history, only Yoda survived long enough to die of old age. The Jedi are first introduced in the 1977 motion picture Star Wars as an order of warrior monks who serve as the guardians of peace and justice in the galaxy and embrace the mystical force. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Alec Guinness explains that the Galactic Empire had all but exterminated the Jedi some 20 years before the events of the film, and seeks to train Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, Toby the Jedi Order's last hope. Darth Vader David Prowse slash James Earl Jones, is also established as the Jedi's main enemy. By the end of the film, Luke is on the path to becoming a Jedi. In the sequel, The Empire Strikes Back, Luke receives extensive Jedi training from the elderly, and only surviving, Jedi Master Yoda, Frank Oz, even as he learns that Vader is, in fact, his father, former Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker. The third film in the original trilogy, Return of the Jedi, ends with Luke redeeming Vader and helping to destroy the Empire, thus fulfilling his destiny as a Jedi. In the sequel trilogy film series however, Luke's attempts to restore the Jedi Order took a turn for the worse instead when one of his apprentices, his nephew Ben, is drawn to the dark side by Supreme Leader Snoke and becomes Kylo Ren. He is convinced to destroy all that Luke has built, murdering most of Luke's apprentices in the occasion. After Ren's fall and the destruction of the new Jedi Order, Luke goes into a self-imposed exile on Ash 2, believing himself and the Jedi will be a negative influence on the galaxy as a whole. In the sequel, the scavenger Rey discovers Luke on Ash 2 and convinces him to train her in the ways of the Force. During her training, Luke describes the hubris of a full-fledged Jedi Order, one that allowed Darth Sidious. She also discovers several ancient Jedi texts hidden away in a tree. Rey learns the truth about Ben's fall to the dark side and believes herself to be his only chance of redemption. Luke does not go with her, staying on Ash to. Luke attempts to burn the tree down, but cannot bring himself to do so. However, Yoda appears as a force ghost to mentor Luke one more time, burning the tree and teaching him that failure is just as important as success, and that masters are defined by those who surpass them. When the First Order launches an attack on the Resistance on Krait, Luke appears to stall the oncoming forces. He and Kylo Ren engage in a duel on the battlefield, Ren apparently striking him down. Luke reveals to Ren that he has been projecting an image of himself across the galaxy. On Ash 2, an exhausted Luke meditates, facing the sunset. He hallucinates a binary sunset and fades away, becoming one with the Force. Rey has stolen the Jedi texts and loads them onto the Millennium Falcon to continue her training. The exact size of the pre-purge Jedi's membership and operations are never specified. However, in the Star Wars Rebels episode Path of the Jedi, Canon Jarrus stated, there were around 10,000 Jedi Knights defending the galaxy. Now, we are few. But in those days, we had small outposts, temples spread throughout the stars. The Empire sought out these temples and destroyed many of them. Yoda was a wise, experienced, and powerful Grandmaster of the Jedi of an unknown species and the oldest known prophet, at least 900 plus years, in existence, considered the wisest and most powerful Jedi Master within the Star Wars universe. He was knighted at age 100, and spent the next eight centuries mentoring several generations of Jedi, about 20,000 of which he took as Padawans. During this period, the Green Jedi Master formed good relations with the Wookiees of Kashyyyk on numerous occasions, such as when he saved their Tarenta Tech. Mace Windy was a male human Jedi weapons master of the High Council and one of the last members of the Order's upper echelons before the fall of the Galactic Republic. Born into a tribe of nomads on the planet Harun Kal. Windu was offered to Jedi anthropologists as a blessing to regain his people's connection to the Force when he was six months old, sometime after his parents died in the bordering jungle. 
He was taken as a Padawan by Miri Allen Jedi Master Sislin Murr, and began using a unique talent of seeing shatter points, or fault lines in the Force that could affect the destinies of certain individuals, and indeed the galaxy itself. Knighted early in his career, the esteemed Windu progressed up the Jedi ranks until reaching his place on the Council, from which he was known as one of the most powerful Jedi and possibly the greatest swordsman of his time. He first appeared in, where he expressed doubt regarding Qui Gon Jinn's conclusion about Darth Maul who attacked him on Tatooine during the mission to escort Queen Amidala of Naboo from her Trade Federation blockaded homeworld, but nonetheless assured the Council that their full resources would be utilized to verify the theory that the Sith could have returned. The weapons master was even the most reluctant to train young Anakin Skywalker, who Jin believed was the prophesied chosen one, at Jin's request. In, he led a party of 200 Jedi on a mission to rescue Obi-Wan Kenobi. Anakin Skywalker and Padme Amidala from Separatist captivity on Geonosis, where he was able to defeat and kill the bounty hunter Jango Fett in the battle that followed. In the Clone Wars, he served the Republic as an overseer of the war effort and advisor to Supreme Chancellor Sheev Palpatine as well as taking part in such conflicts such as the battles of Malastair and Dantooine. Qui-Gon Jinn was a wise and powerful male human Jedi Master, and the master of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Unlike other, more conservative Jedi, he values living in the moment as the best way to embrace the Force. While other Jedi respect him highly, they are frequently puzzled by his unorthodox beliefs and ultimately deny him a seat on the Jedi Council, despite him being among the wisest and most powerful of the Jedi. Obi-Wan Kenobi was a male human Jedi Master who initiated Anakin and Luke Skywalker to the Jedi arts and served as a central character during the events of the Clone Wars. Obi-Wan proved himself an adept strategist, duelist, and spy as his leadership style heavily favored subterfuge and misdirection while commanding clone troopers, or wielding the Force. Anakin Skywalker was a human male Jedi Knight and main protagonist of the prequel trilogy. He was apprenticed to Obi-Wan Kenobi and proved to be a very gifted duelist and Force user, being appointed to the Jedi High Council at the age of 23, though being denied the rank of Master. He secretly married Padme Amidala and had two children. He eventually fell to the dark side and became Darth Vader. While he was not technically a Jedi Master, he was a member of the Old Jedi Council, and trained a Padawan of his own, Ahsoka Tano during the Clone Wars, who dutifully called him Master. Kanan Jarrus was a human male Jedi who fought for the Rebellion during its formation. First introduced as a principal character of the animated television series Star Wars Rebels, Jarrus is known to be the leader of a small rebel cell called the Spectres, operating on the planet Lodal. As a survivor of Order 66, Jarrus is forced to break certain Jedi traditions to avoid being detected by Imperial forces that continue their mission to eliminate any Jedi on sight, such as eschewing traditional Jedi robes or occasionally using a blaster, a weapon typically shunned by Jedi. After the Spectres rescued the young Ezra Bridger, Jarrus discovered his Force potential and successfully trains him to become a Jedi. As he trains Bridger and battles Imperial forces, Jara's actions draw the attention of the Imperial Inquisitorius, a special task force of force attuned individuals who are specialized in hunting and eliminating Jedi, and he occasionally crosses paths with them. Jara's later earned the title of Jedi Knight during his conflict with the Inquisitors, but shortly after the last of them were defeated at the Sith Temple on Malachor, he was betrayed and blinded by the former Sith Lord known only as Maul who assisted in eliminating them solely to pursue his own goals. Cannon then continued serving the rebellion as it faced the Imperial tactician Grand Admiral Thrawn, before sacrificing his own life to help his fellow cell members succeed in rescuing one of their own, while simultaneously disrupting production of the Imperial TIE Defender, a powerful starfighter that could have doomed the growing rebellion. Ezra Bridger is a human male who was born on the planet Lodal precisely on the day the Galactic Empire was established. He witnessed many injustices of the Imperial occupation of his homeworld for much of his childhood and was separated from his parents from a very early age. He was able to survive alone using street smarts and skills, but was discovered by Canon Jarrus to have potential force sensitivity after he encounters the Spectres for the first time. After discovering how much of a team player he could be during a rescue operation, they recruit Bridger, tasking Jarrus to begin training him in the ways of the Jedi, a task made difficult by the premature death of Jarrus Master. Depa by Leba, executed after the Clone Wars. It would be weeks before Bridger would lay his hands on a lightsaber, which was uniquely designed to accommodate his early inability to deflect projectiles with a built-in knuckle guard and mini-blaster, 
and even so, he was more skilled at battling stormtroopers, rather than the Inquisitors or Darth Vader, the latter who easily bested him in combat and disarmed him. After a dangerous mission to the planet Malachor to discover the key to defeating the Sith, Bridger recovers a Sith holocron believed to hold the answers he sought, becoming the first ever known Jedi to open a Sith holocron, but soon fell under its sway for some time as he improved his combat skills and was even promoted to commander in the rebel ranks. It is not until after some encounters with the former Sith Lord Maul does Bridger discover that Obi-Wan Kenobi holds the key to the Sith's undoing, as he will train Luke Skywalker to confront his corrupted father. Bridger continued taking part in the rebellion's war against the Empire, even as they faced the Imperial strategist Grand Admiral Thrawn. Throughout his service, Bridger also discovered that in spite of his early combat troubles, he could uniquely develop an ability to communicate with animals, using the Force, and command them to do his bidding. This skill would prove useful several times, including a moment when Bridger uses it to finally drive out Thrawn's forces from Lothal once and for all through the strength of Pergils, large interstellar creatures. This brought a long-awaited end to the Imperial occupation of his homeworld, but at the cost of being unable to continue being with the Spectres or see his people enjoy their hard-won freedom. Luke Skywalker was a male human grandmaster of the Jedi and the protagonist of the Star Wars original trilogy. As the last Padawan of Obi-Wan Kenobi, he became an important figure in the Rebel Alliance's struggle against the Galactic Empire. Luke is heir to a family deeply rooted in the Force, being the twin brother of Rebellion leader Princess Leia Organa of the planet Alderaan, the son of former Queen of Naboo and Republic Senator Padme Amidala and Jedi-turned-Sith Lord Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker and the maternal uncle of Ben Solo. After redeeming his father from the dark side of the Force, Luke set out to train a new generation of Jedi to rebuild the Order, only to have them wiped out by Ren. Skywalker then spent the rest of his life in exile on Eshtu, with the final heroic act of using Force projection to distract Ren and help the Resistance flee the planet Kray. Rey, Star Wars, was a human female Jedi Padawan and scavenger and one of the main protagonists of the sequel trilogy. She is allied with the Resistance and help Hedto find Luke Skywalker. She found him on the planet of Eshtu where he spent the rest of his life. She is also the pilot of the Millennium Falcon with Chewbacca. As the Padawan of Luke Skywalker, she proved that she is powerful with the Force and good at dueling. She is now currently the last living Jedi since Skywalker joined the Force. The Jedi Code was a set of rules that governed the behavior of the Jedi Order. It taught its followers to not give in to feelings of anger toward other life forms, which would help them resist fear and prevent them from falling to the dark side of the Force. Br. The four branches of the Jedi Council are fictional institutions from the Star Wars universe. They serve the Jedi Order as an organized administrative body that governed orders, academies, temples, interests, and organizations. The Jedi High Council is the main ecclesiastical leadership of the Jedi Order, which is a spiritual, Philosophical and paramilitary organization. The Jedi High Council is made up of some of the strongest, wisest, and most experienced members of the Jedi Order. They are elected to lead the Jedi. The Council of First Knowledge administered the Temple based Academy and its curriculum, and funded scholar scientific research. To this end, the Council guarded and maintained the Temple archives and its holocron vaults, as well as the Shadow Program at the Jedi Temple. Jedi Sentinels task head with hunting down Sith artifacts. The Council of Reconciliation dealt with the Galactic Senate and the Republic Diplomatic Corps in order to help bring diplomatic resolutions to conflicts and end political standoffs. The first face of the Republic presented to worlds interested in joining the Republic, this council would dispatch Jedi diplomats and ambassadors to moderate debate and hammer out treaties. The Council of Reassignment administered the Jedi Service Corps in each of its branch councils. Organizing work for those initiates who failed out of the Academy and Knights with special talents, the Reassignment Council oversaw this branch's missions and assignments. Members of the Order progress through four educational stages, at times referred to as levels. Initiation is the first part of Jedi training, they are mentored by Jedi Masters in rudimentary control over the Force and basic self-defense techniques. Most initiates were typically youngling, a child Jedi in training receiving early and first-class education. When Jedi Sentinels discover or test a suitable Force-sensitive candidate, they are taken to the Jedi Academy at the age of five, depending on the species and arbitrary years, with the parents' permission. Jedi scholarship educations are considered prestigious, as most parents are portrayed as either happy or proud of the opportunity, but sad since they are unlikely to see their child again before adulthood. 
younglings were portrayed training under Jedi Master Yoda in a scene on Attack of the Clones and hiding during the assault in the Jedi Temple in Revenge of the Sith. The Young Jedi story arc and the episode Path of the Jedi explored the Jedi tradition called The Gathering, where initiates travel to the Crystal Caves to harvest kyber crystals, which they would use to build their first lightsabers. Crystals were attuned to individual Jedi and lack color. The Force spoke to each of the younglings through their crystals. To find their crystal, each initiate had to learn a lesson, courage, hope, patience, trust, confidence, and selflessness. An initiate who successfully completes fundamental training is given a second-class education and then undergoes Padawan training under the tutelage of mentor, usually a Jedi Knight or Jedi Master. They are also called apprentices and Padawan learners. As a rite of passage in the final test before the trials to knighthood, Padawans must build their own lightsabers. In the Old Republic, Padawans usually wore a hair braid on the right side of their head which was removed with a lightsaber upon attaining knighthood. They also served as commanders in the Clone Wars. The term Padawan appears to originate in Sanskrit and can be understood as learner, both in Sanskrit and by contemporary native speakers of Sanskrit-based languages. Disciplined and experienced, Jedi Knights become so only when they have completed the trials, final tests, and may continue to pursue a third-class education, see below, to obtain the equivalent of a habilitation or postdoctoral degree. As the most common rank, it is interchangeably referred to as Jedi, Jedi Knight and Master Jedi, although the latter are honorifics used only by younglings and Padawans when addressing Jedi Knights or above. The five tests are usually known as Trial of Skill, the Trial of Courage, the Trial of the Flesh, the Trial of Spirit, and the Trial of Insight, or Knowledge. In Return of the Jedi, Master Yoda gives his apprentice, Luke Skywalker. The trial of confronting Darth Vader for a second time so he might become a full-fledged knight. Occasionally, performing an extraordinary, usually heroic, act can earn a Padawan learner Jedi status, such as when Obi-Wan Kenobi defeats the Sith Lord Darth Maul. By the time of the movie's distinct battle classes were not necessary as the Republic had not seen war in over a thousand years, and the title of knight was simply rank once again. Jedi Master is a term of respect used by beings who respect the Jedi. Regarded as among the most accomplished and recognized polymaths in the Star Wars galaxy. Upon completion of vocational or postgraduate education, a Jedi Knight becomes a Jedi Master after successfully training a Padawan learner to Knight status. Though this is the most common manner, there are other ways of attaining the rank. Various careers, occupations, ranks, and titles were available to all Jedi. Upon a Padawan's ascension to knighthood status, a Jedi pursued higher education or vocational education and training in a field of expertise. Before the Great Jedi Purge, knights would choose a career based on preference, personal talents and skills, and were given the opportunity to join the Order of the Guardian, the Order of the Consular, or Order of the Sentinel. In addition to their specialization, in times of war the High Council could demand that the members of the Order assume military ranks in order to defend the Republic. Within the Star Wars universe, the Jedi are usually portrayed wearing simple robes and carrying specialized field gear for their missions. Their philosophical lifestyles mirror those of real world religious vows and evangelical councils, as their personal possessions are provided exclusively by the Jedi Order, and are only meant to allow self sufficiency. The most notable instrument wielded by a Jedi is the lightsaber. Both Jedi and Sith use lightsabers, though the former regards one as a tool, the latter, a weapon. The Jedi's lightsabers emit cool colors, usually blue or green blades, sometimes yellow, or purple, as seen in the case of Mace Windu, while the Sith emit warm colors, red. Lightsabers can be of many different colors depending on the crystal fixture. Most Jedi use naturally formed crystals, whereas Sith tend to use synthetic crystals, which are usually red in color. Ada 2 act as Jedi interceptors first appeared in Revenge of the Sith. Delta 7 B Ether Sprite Jedi Starfighters appear in Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones and Star Wars, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. In Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan Kenobi travels via Jedi Starfighter to Kamino to investigate the attempted assassination of Padme Amidala. He also flies a Jedi Starfighter to Geonosis in an attempt to track down the bounty hunter Jango Fett. Lacking a hyperdrive, the Starfighter relies on an external sled to propel it through hyperspace. Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, Hayden Christensen, fly updated Jedi Starfighters, called Jedi Interceptors, in the opening sequence of Revenge of the Sith. Later, Plo Koon, Matt Sloan, 
flies in revenge of the Sith era starfighter when he is shot down by clone troopers carrying out Emperor Palpatine's Ian McDermott, Order 66. The Jedi Starfighter's triangular shape and attack of the clone stems from the shape of Imperial Star Destroyers in the original Star Wars trilogy. Industrial Light and Magic designer Doug Chiang identified the Jedi Starfighter as one of the first designs that bridges the aesthetic between the prequel and original trilogies. Chiang noted that viewers' familiarity with the Star Destroyer's appearance and Imperial affiliation gives added symbolism to the Jedi craft's appearance and foreshadows the Empire's rise to power. The starfighter scene in Revenge of the Sith is a cross between the previous film's vessel and the Empire's TIE fighters from the original trilogy. Hasbro's expanding wings in the attack of the clone's Jedi starfighter toy inspired the opening wings in the Revenge of the Sith vessel. The starfighter in the Revenge of the Sith is called a Jedi Interceptor starfighter. The Jedi Archives, known as the Great Library of Asus or the Great Library of the Jedi, contained the galaxy's most priceless and ancient of texts sacred to Jedi scholars and archaeologists. Among these were Sith artifacts, considered by the Jedi Order to be the most dangerous artifacts in the galaxy, that were accessible only to those able to control the dark side of the Force. The Jedi Archives of the Jedi Temple in the movie Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones bear a startling resemblance to the Long Room of the Trinity College Library in Dublin. This resemblance resulted in controversy as permission had not been sought to use the building's likeness in the film. However, Lucasfilm denied that the long room was the basis for the Jedi archives, and officials from Trinity College Library decided not to take any legal action. The Jedi Academies were established to train Force-sensitive beings accepted into the Jedi Order in the ways of the Force. Overseen by the Council of First Knowledge, each academy was governed by an advisory council appointed by their superiors on Coruscant. Mainstreaming the majority of teachings at the temple, certain practices were permitted to vary from world to world. However, at all sanctioned academies, a group of Jedi Masters would instruct initiates to the Order and the ways of the Force. The size of the school varied from world to world, the smallest consisted of a single clan of younglings, and the largest was the main academy housed within the Jedi Temple of Coruscant. Most academies had been established during the old Sith Wars and were located in the Galactic Rim. Some were located on or near Forest Wellsprings or places significant to the Order like crystal caves or nexuses of dark side energies that needed constant monitoring. In addition to the traditional academies established by the Order, the Exploration Corps maintained several spacefaring mobile academies such as the Junther Sothat roaming the galaxy and exploring new worlds could be achieved while still teaching traditional doctrine. By the fall of the Galactic Republic in 19 BBY, many of the ancient academies had been shut down for decades, with the Council of First Knowledge preferring the central teachings of the Coruscant Temple. After the dissolution of the Order during the Great Jedi Purge, all Orthodox temples and academies were routed and burned in order to prevent any more Jedi from learning the secrets of the Force. However, the Galactic Empire's chokehold on Force education did not last and the Order was reformed following the conclusion of the Galactic Civil War. When Grandmaster Luke Skywalker's New Order became a single class of 12 students including his nephew Ben Solo, however it was reduced to only himself when his nephew turned to the dark side and became Kylo Ren. In the Star Wars prequel trilogy saga, the Jedi Temple is located on the capital planet of Coruscant. As the chief administrative headquarters, the temple served the Order in three capacities, a monastery and library for the Jedi seeking enlightenment and to reflect on the will of the Force, an academy and training center for Jedi younglings and Padawans who endeavored to join the ranks of the Jedi Knights, and government, in which the Masters of the Jedi High Council guided the Order's direction. It was originally built atop an old dark side nexus shrine during the birth of the Republic, so as to be symbolic to the Coruscant people that the tyrannical rule of the Sith was over. In Revenge of the Sith, the Jedi Temple is attacked by clone troopers of the 501st Legion, led by the newly christened Darth Vader, who butchered the Jedi within and set the Temple alight. After the fall of the Jedi Order in the Galactic Republic, the Temple became the palace of the Emperor and a location for his dark side artifacts. It would serve as Sidious residence for over two decades until his death at the Battle of Endor and for Abai. The Temple is visible in the celebrations on Coruscant at the end of Return of the Jedi. After the destruction of the Sith, Luke Skywalker, the last of the Jedi, recovered fragments of a Force-sensitive tree that was once located at the heart of the Jedi Temple. Architects Journal rated the Temple third on its top ten architecture of Star Wars list behind the second Death Star in Jabba the Hutt's palace on Tatooine, and ahead of Coruscant, the capital city of the Old Republic. 
The temple is described in the article as adapting the robust typology of Mayan temples, with dura steel cladding specified for the external stone walls for improved defensive strength and said to be a ziggurat that is built above a force nexus and has ample room for training facilities, accommodation and the Jedi archive. The temple has five towers, the tallest is Tranquility Spire, that are stylistically similar to the minarets surrounding the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. Star Wars Insider listed it as the 100th greatest thing about Star Wars and its 100th issue special. Not every dark side user is a Sith, nor is every light side user a Jedi. Within the Star Wars expanded universe, people of all species have demonstrated varying Force-sensitive powers and abilities. These Force wielders are often depicted with little to no formal Jedi training in the Force and originating from primitive planets. Dark Side Adept is an official term, used to describe someone with the power to use the dark side of the Force outside of the traditions of the Jedi or the Sith. They were often steeped in the lore of the dark side and opposed to those who used the light side, such as Jedi. While all Sith were technically dark side adepts, the term was not exclusive to them, as non Sith individuals such as Asajj Ventress, Kylo Ren, and the Grand Inquisitor were considered dark side adepts. Dark side adepts were referenced in passing in James Lacino's canon novel Tarkin. Bendu debuted in the Star Wars Rebels Season 3 episode, Steps into Shadow. Bendu was a force sensitive individual who resided on the remote planet of Atalon and represented the center of the force, between the light side and the dark side. Jedi and Sith wield the Ashla and Bogan. The light and the dark. I'm the one in the middle. The Bendu. Stated Bendu. He is depicted as one who seeks balance, and has been likened to Tom Bombadil of the Lord of the Rings. The term Bendu first appears in the original script for Star Wars as the name of the Jedi Knights, the Jedi Bendu. Most notably, Anakin Skywalker's Padawan Ahsoka Tano left the Jedi Order, and continued to wield the Force, she never affiliated or created any Force-sensitive organization. With the 2012 acquisition of Lucasfilm by the Walt Disney Company, most of the licensed Star Wars novels and comics produced since the originating 1977 film Star Wars were rebranded as Star Wars Legends and declared non-canon to the franchise in April 2014. The Jedi Order, precursors to the modern Jedi, studied and used both the light and dark sides of the Force equally. The preview issue of Dawn of the Jedi states that the Jedi originated 10,000 years before the saga takes place, approximately 46,453 years BBY. They were more monk than warrior, and their capital was Tython in the Deep Core. In novels set after the events of the film series, Luke Skywalker re-established the Jedi High Council as part of his new Jedi Order. The most notable difference between the format of the new council and the old is that only half of the council are made up of Jedi while the other half consisted of politicians. Following the Yuuzhan Vong War, the Jedi withdrew their support from any one political entity and relocated to Ossus, where Luke had a full Jedi Council re-established. In novels set after the events of the original trilogy film series, the new Jedi Order was the restored and reformed Jedi organization, in the wake of the Great Jedi Purge and subsequent fall of the Galactic Empire. The Jedi Knights, reduced in number to only a handful, were slowly restored primarily under the leadership of Grand Master Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker abolished the traditional master-slash-Padawan system. He believed all Jedi should be both teachers and students, that they should both learn from and mentor each other, and not just from one master. Within the expanded universe, the new Jedi Order indicates that the Jedi Temple on Coruscant is no longer standing but it is rebuilt as a gift to Jedi for their service and achievements during the Yuuzhan Vong invasion. The new temple is in the form of a massive pyramid made from stone and transparent steel that is designed to fit into the new look of Coruscant, though internally it is identical to the design seen in Revenge of the Sith. The United States Army had a group of officers in the early 1980s who promoted maneuver warfare tactics, and who were derisively referred to as Jedi by more conventional officers who were satisfied with attrition tactics and methods. In Star Wars and Philosophy, William Stevens compares the Jedi to Stoicism. Jedi have made their way into certain areas of pop culture, such as Weird Al Yankovic's song The Saga Begins, a parody of American Pie. In the film The Men Who Stare at Goats, 2009, a reporter follows a former soldier who claimed to be a Jedi warrior, a nickname for psychic spies in the U.S. military. One of the enduring influences the Star Wars saga has had in popular culture is the idea of the fictional Jedi values being interpreted as a modern philosophical path or religion spawning various movements such as the Yetiism, 
religious, and the Jedi census phenomenon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.